Now the woman who turned super sleuth after her identity was stolen. Katie eventually tracked down the alleged fraudster. Here's how she did it. This girl has the potential to ruin my life. Katie Hastings says she's a victim of stolen identity. I have been shutting everything down. I, we're, I'm playing cat and mouse with her. But when she felt police weren't acting fast enough, Katie turned detective. I was like, bugger this. I'm going to go investigate this myself. I'm, I'm going to find her. And she did. I have not given you permission to film me. It is a breach of privacy. Katie says the woman who allegedly stole her identity picked on the wrong girl. On the 7th of May, I got a, a call from a Vodafone employee when I was in Brisbane working. And he said, are you in Bearwood Shopping Centre? And I said, no, I'm in Brisbane. And he says, well, there's a version of you trying to buy a phone. The next day, Katie says she flew home and drove herself straight to her local police station to file a report. That night, I had all these verification codes being sent through to my phone. And I was like, oh my God, she's trying to get into my accounts or my email or my bank or something. It was that type of verification code. I went back to the police station the next day and I was like, said, have you spoken to the witness? Have, what have you done? And they said, oh, it's only been, you know, like 20, um, 24, 48 hours when, you know, give us some time. And I was like, but okay, she no says problem. she couldn't wait um, that long. So within three days, what she had done was she had applied for multiple phones and credit cards. She had tried to break into my account. So Katie took matters into her own hands. I travelled out there and I interviewed the witness. So the next steps was I went and I sat in the seat where she was sitting in and I thought to myself, there's four cameras on me here with a clear view of my face. Bang, 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 bang. So I contact Westfield Security. When I asked for the CCTV, they said they can't actually give it to me or show me her on camera. Um, however, he can tell me where she went. So I thought that was going to be my lead. Katie says security told her the woman made her way to Optus and then Coles. She went into Coles at approximately 10.05 and she came out at 4.27. So I went into Optus and this is where she actually found out that I didn't have an account there so she could actually probably purchase a phone there. So she did an online order after that. So the real Katie Hastings paid the Optus store a visit. And I thought to myself, well, it's me. Can you please give me the address the phone is going to be sent to? I now have her face, I have her number, and then I have her address. And then a desperate Katie took an extreme step. I did, I sat outside her apartment. I just wanted to see if that address was her true address um, or if it was just a drop point. And she is, you know, part of a bigger criminal syndicate. Finally, Katie needed to get a new ID. I went into Service New South Wales and they said to me that I actually can't change my licence number there. I need to apply for it in court and I have to jump through all these hoops. One of the hoops was that I needed to uh, prove that this is happening to me and I needed the police report. However, there is no police report because they hadn't started it. Identity theft is a very big problem and the law still has not caught up with it. Cyber security expert Nick Savides. It's absolutely important, uh, critical to document the timelines and everything that has happened when you believe an identity crime has occurred against you. Earlier this month, the alleged identity thief was charged with larceny and break and enter with the intent to steal more than $60,000 worth of goods. Police claim they found a number of unlawfully obtained items at her home, including a driver's licence, a Medicare card and other forms of identification which didn't belong to her. It's Lauren from A Current Affair. How are you going? We caught up with the woman who can't be identified for legal reasons. Are you familiar with the name Katie Hastings at all? No? Does that name ring a bell? Katie Hastings has reason to believe you may have stolen her identity. Is, did you steal Katie Hastings' identity? I'm sorry, I'll be calling for harassment if you don't leave me alone. So, on your way. Thank you very much. Walk away. Walk away. When I went and spoke to the police officer, um, in fact, he was a sergeant. He's like, oh, they probably just picked the mailbox locks. Basically, what they do is they employ people to obviously steal documentation on individuals, and as a result, they create a dossier. 
and then they sell those details on to organised crime groups. In 2020, Australians lost approximately $851 million to scams and identity theft is the cornerstone for these scams. Detective Superintendent Linda Howlett is commander of the Financial Crime Squad at New South Wales Police. It's only a matter of time before we knock on your door and arrest you. What I would say to victims, you really need to secure your documentation because at the end of the day it can have a devastating effect. As I said, it can affect your credit rating, it also can affect you travelling overseas. It has a devastating effect on poor innocent victims. We've got reason to believe you may have stolen another woman's Copper. identity. Goodbye. This is I have not permission. I have not given you permission to film me. It is a breach of privacy. Goodbye. Goodbye. I did not give you permission. Goodbye. I feel like she has a hundred points of my ID. Are you scared? I'm so scared. So but I have done everything I can in my power. And it's time for the police to do what they do now.